Hi guys, my name is Peter and welcome to a new video. So in this video, I'm going to share a really cool project that I did. And this can be also a project that you can add to your resume as well. So before moving on to the demo, I just want to give you guys a high level overview of the architecture so that uh, you can understand things in a much better way when I show you guys a demo. So this particular project is titled as email newsletter service. And as you know, newsletter is a concept where we, we will be having n number of uh, email IDs or subscribers and the owner can send an email simultaneously to all these email IDs. So that is the entire newsletter service and that is what we have built using AWS. So now coming on to the architecture, uh, here you can see that we are having a React website in my case. And this website will be having a provision where the user can enter the email address. So once the user enters the email ID and clicks on uh, subscribe, we make an HTTP POS request. This is an API request and the API is obtained from the API gateway service of AWS. And what this API request is going to do is that it is going to invoke a Lambda function. So this Lambda function internally fetches the email ID from the API and adds that email ID to an SNS topic. So now let me explain to you guys what an SNS topic is with an example. So SNS stands for Simple Notification Service. So let us imagine that there is a YouTuber and he or she wants to create a newsletter. And let us imagine that uh, the creator is a finance creator. So what SNS internally do is that you need to provide an ID. So let us imagine that the ID is called as finance. And uh, basically SNS creates a table and the ID is going to be finance. And in this particular topic, we can add n number of subscribers. And this is going to be the ID. So this ID is what we are going to provide in our Lambda function. So whenever Lambda receives an API request, it is going to fetch the email ID and adds that email ID to the SNS topic ID provided. So in that case, in this case, that email ID is going to go to our finance topic. So this is how the entire things work. And I hope that you guys got at least a basic idea regarding how this particular thing works. And now you might think that how a owner can send an email to all of the subscribers and now let's discuss about that. So there are two different ways in which one can send an email to all of their subscribers. By default SNS provides a graphical user interface where uh, a user can uh, pretty much simply send an email to all of the sub subscribers. But in my case I built a custom front end right over here and I can provide a subject, enter an email body, click on send email and this email will be sent to all the subscribers of the finance newsletter topic that I have created in SNS. So this is what I did. It is also a pretty simple process. And uh, yeah, this is the two different ways in which you can send email to all of your subscribers. And the way the uh, email is sent is that you need to set up an SCS. So in SCS, you need to provide a primary email ID. And any email that you send will be via this particular primary email ID. So that is regarding the entire architecture and I hope that you guys got a basic idea regarding that. And remember that this is not a how-to video but instead this is a DIY video where my aim is to provide you guys with an idea regarding how we can build this particular uh, service. And now it is your responsibility to do that. And uh, the reason is that I just want you guys to build it on your own. Then only you will run into error, you fix it, then you learn it. I hope that you guys got it. So that is the reason why I made this particular video as a DIY video instead of a how-to video. And now it is time to show you guys how this architecture works with the demo. Now when it comes to the demo, I have uh, opened up a simple React app right over here, which is having an input field where the user can provide the email ID. So I'm going to provide a simple email ID right over here and I'm going to click on subscribe. Now in the backend, an API request is made to Lambda. Lambda is invoked. Lambda fetches the email ID and adds that to the SNS topic. And then we receive uh, a simple message that asks uh, to check our email to confirm subscription. Now, before moving on to anything else, let me show you guys the SNS. So if I go to SNS and uh, you can see that there's only a single email ID right over here. And now if I refresh, now you can see that there is a new email ID which I added right now. And the status is pending confirmation. So the status will be confirmed only if the user confirms the mail ID. So now what happened is that a confirmation mail is sent to the respective email ID and the user need to confirm that only then the status will be confirmed right over here. 
so now let me go to uh, my email id and i'm going to refresh it and now we have got a new message from aws notification and if i open it up you can see that we can confirm the subscription so i'm going to click on that and uh, the subscription is now confirmed i'm going to close it and if i refresh my sns uh, page once again you can see that now the email id is confirmed so this is how the thing uh, work in the backend now let us see what happens when i send an email so i'm going to use my friend and client uh, right over here to send an email so i'm going to name it as test and uh, i'm going to type is does this is a test mail and now let's click on send email as we get a message email sent and here you can see that i just filtered it via the subject and you can see that we have received an email and if you open it up you can see that this is a test email and you can see that uh, the email id sent from ptj1298 via amazon scs so this is the primary email id that i have set up via scs so whatever mail that is going to send to any of my subscribers will be via this particular format so this is how the entire thing work uh, as you can see it is kind of really an interesting project that you can work on so that's it and i really hope that you guys got a basic idea regarding how the entire thing work and if you have got any doubt you can uh, mention that in the comment section and i'll be more than happy to help so that's it thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you guys in another video